Florida is helping those impacted by the recent hurricanes. What the results were for the 2021 and 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E crash test and a new feature Volvo is implementing to help prevent someone from being left behind in a vehicle. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first, automakers had mixed feelings after the U.S. new vehicle market's third quarter closed. Growing economic challenges and rising interest rates threaten what was expected to be a more robust second half rebound. Meanwhile, U.S. sales at Toyota, Hyundai, Kia, and Subaru rose in September as the auto industry's inventory woes continued to ease. But sales fell 8.9% at Ford even as inventories grew behind an 18% drop in truck volume and flat utility sales. Third quarter volume surged at General Motors but slid at Stellantis and Nissan. Overall, Motor Intelligence estimated vehicle sales rose 10% to over 1.1 million in September but were down 13% through September at over 10.2 million. For more information on automakers' Q3 sales, you can find it on our website at autonews.com. Ford is celebrating its Le Mans winning heritage as well as its global race winning success with the new 2022 Ford GT Limited Edition. The global director for Ford Performance Motorsports says, with innovative materials, design, and engineering, the Ford GT is unlike any other production supercar. It is available with red or blue design details that include tinted red or blue carbon fiber exterior treatment and a driver's seat in the corresponding color. These final 20 special edition supercars will add to its collectability. Deliveries of the vehicle begin this fall with production wrapping up later this year. Staying on the topic of Ford, its 2021 and 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E earned a good rating in the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's new tougher side crash test. The EV also earned good ratings for head protection for both the driver and rear passenger. For structural performance, the crossover was downgraded from good to acceptable because the left rear door partially opened during the crash, which could allow a passenger, especially an unbelted one, to be partially or completely ejected. U.S. government statistics show that since 1998, more than 900 children in the U.S. have died after being left in hot cars. To help prevent this from continuing to happen, Volvo is implementing an interior radar system in some of its vehicles. The new feature is designed to be accurate and sensitive enough to detect the tiniest movements such as those of a sleeping toddler. Volvo says it is the first such feature to cover the entire interior of the car, including the trunk. The new interior radar system will be rolled out as standard on the Volvo EX90. The automaker also says the feature will be included in its other forthcoming car models. Honda is trying to help those affected by the recent hurricane. It says it will be doing so by donating $500,000 in disaster relief funds to the American Red Cross. These funds will go towards food and shelter for those living in the impacted areas. Also, Honda says it is offering its associates an opportunity to join the hurricane relief effort through a matching fund program. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.